This is Farles here with a lineup update. As you notice, our style is in right now. We are starting Russell Wilson. We bench him immediately, but we do start him, and we've got Deshaun Jackson flashback. He was our biggest purchase of the year, 300K for him. Demarius blocks really well solo on the left side in the Bucks run scheme. We're starting the tight end because of his style and along the offensive lines the same way. Defensively, we want that man defense, so we crafted a second Schefter Stars Randall with a double man D. Our defensive lineman work, Randy Gregory has some, and the Adams captain is really our other lineup addition. So people are kind of out of place. It might cost us a game here or there, but we were playing the computer. We wanted to test out style. It seems to be working pretty well. Let me know where we should go next. I might get rid of Jackson flashback for Chris Johnson flashback. This is the Super Bowl you saw in the last game. We took on a tough, tough opponent and got a win with five seconds left. Make sure to click on the channel to subscribe if you want to see that. And our opponent here in the Super Bowl comes out. He's wearing the Patriots and we were wearing the Giants. So another classic Pats Giants Super Bowl matchup. Comes out in the strong close. Right there, we expect toss. If it's the first play of the game, you have to think toss, have to think toss. We get wide, he cuts it back up. Only 10 yards, only 10 yards, totally fine on the first play of the game. Then he just starts to go to four verticals and we'll defend this better and better as the game goes on. So right here, third and 20, could care less about a halfback check down. Just don't really care about it picks up 12 yards and he's gonna go for it on fourth and eight so right here we drop that linebacker into a flat zone and then we play across the middle we've got our quarterback spy that we put on every snap we simply click the right stick remember click it don't flick it to send the quarterback spy after uh, it could, our opponent because he would have been able to roll out there and pick up the first down had we not done that so we get an early stop, we go back to running the Bucks free scheme on this channel. Once again, totally free running scheme on this channel. Check it out, double P to the left. What do we do? We call it the inside zone. And our opponent in cover two. This is probably the one bad read we make consistently in this. We did it last game and it almost cost us. We do tend to throw that quick flat to the pass against cover two, which has a flat zone and is really, really not a good read. But other than that, we've got to get over that. Here we hurry up for really no reason and not a smart play. If this is a good opponent, I'm probably going to get held to a field goal. But since this guy's not great, we're still able to score a touchdown. Here he's in cover two. He's got the safety down in the box. Simple throw on a streak to Demarius Thomas. Just physically no way that zone coverage can stop that. Our opponent gets the ball back. Big return for him out to the 30. Now, once again, we've got to respect the quick toss from this formation. We don't really care when he has to cut it up inside with Arian Foster. No risk to him breaking a touchdown. And there's just too much damage that a, a toss could cause. Right here, we run the 3-4 solid. We time the snap, and we drop John Elway in the backfield. Easily his best player. Here he goes back to four verticals. Tlaib gets underneath it. Joe Hayden makes a fan fantastic tip drill pick while taking the hit so now we're up seven get the ball back Russell Wilson's gonna pitch it out to Jamal Farrells he's fighting on the edge and our scheme is working so we decide to change it up when you think you have a victory in your grasp here we're gonna roll out with Russell Wilson and once again this is a bad play by me I should have taken off with Russell Wilson instead I tried to hold the ball and throw and it ends up being third and two so I'm actually not playing my best game I made one bad read I made uh, one bad play there with Wilson, but it doesn't matter because Charles breaks the tackle, saves me on third and two, and we go for the crib shot. Thankfully, we're playing an opponent with not much offense, continues to run this one play over and over. Here you saw on a uh, quick QB contain gets in. Right here, once again, he ran this earlier on us. He threw to the halfback. It's been his only real completion. But look at what this flat zone does. Michael Kendricks, we drop him in a flat, and he crushes the halfback. He only picks up five. Third and 16. We are guarding the halfback real quick. You just, If you're running four verticals against two men under, you cannot throw any of those three street routes. Pro tip. Uh, fourth and 16, we switch to cover three. We've got a user. We've got a user. And three defenders in the area make sure our opponent drops the rock. At this stage, we are going to be Super Bowl champions. We win the game, and a nice season put together by us right there. Let's take a quick look at the record. 
We are up to 54 and 3, because 1 was a DC. And our next player for our next video, Stefan Gilmore, so make sure to subscribe to the channel.